This is part one of a special three-part series where we uncover the complete truth about creatine. And we're starting by destroying the myths that are secretly holding you back from gaining strength, sharpening your mind, and fighting the aging process. What if I told you the biggest myth about the world's most popular fitness supplement has nothing to do with your kidneys or bloating, but everything to do <laughs> with your hair. The idea that creatine causes baldness comes from a single small study from 2009 that has never been replicated. In that study, researchers found an increase in a hormone called DHT in college rugby players, but they never even documented a single instance of actual hair loss. Yet, this myth persists, scaring people away from one of the most beneficial compounds on the planet. And trust me, if it caused hair loss, there is absolutely no way I would ever touch it. We're busting that and so much more today. And welcome to the channel. I am Mr. Healthspan. With nearly 30 years as a nutritionist and personal trainer, I help people get strong, feel unstoppable, and build lifelong metabolic health. Now, in my late 40s, I'm healthier, I'm sharper, I'm stronger, and I'm proving the best is yet to come. Now let's go. And this is one of the most powerful weapons in my daily arsenal. I take it religiously every single day. But before we get into the incredible benefits, we have to clear the air. Because if you're worried this stuff is unsafe, you'll never unlock its true potential. So in this video, we're going to tackle the science, bust the myths, and lay the foundation for everything that comes next. So why is creatine a scientific legend? Forget fads. Creatine isn't new and it isn't hype. It is arguably the most studied nutritional supplement in history. We're talking about a body of research spanning decades with a 2021 publication noting over 500 peer-reviewed papers on the topic. So how does it work? In every cell in your body, from your biceps to your brain cells, you have an energy molecule called adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. Think of it as your body's cellular gasoline. When you do anything, you lift a weight, you solve a problem, you spend ATP. Creatine's magic is that it acts like a rapid refueling station. When you supplement with creatine, your body stores it as a high energy molecule called phosphocreatine. When ATP levels drop, phosphocreatine swoops in and instantly recycles your energy back into fresh, usable ATP. This is the master key to understanding all of creatine's benefits. It's your cell's first responder anytime they are under high metabolic stress. Debunking the myths. Let's settle this once and for all. Myth number one, it's bad for your kidneys. This is the oldest and most persistent myth. And for healthy individuals, it is unequivocally false. This misconception comes from a misunderstanding of a blood marker called creatinine. When you supplement with creatine, you naturally produce more creatinine. But this is a normal expected finding and is not an indicator of kidney damage. The International Society of Sports Nutrition, ISSN, the world's leading authority, has stated based on a mountain of evidence that there is no scientific evidence that the short or long-term use of creatine monohydrate has any detrimental effects on otherwise healthy individuals. Studies lasting up to five years confirm its safety. Now myth number two, it makes you bloated and causes cramps. Creatine pulls water into the muscle cell, not under the skin. This is a good thing. It hydrates the muscle and improves its function. It is not the same as the subcutaneous water retention that makes you look puffy. Furthermore, the idea that it causes cramping has been thoroughly disproven. In fact, studies suggest that athletes who use creatine 
may have a lower incidence of cramping and dehydration. The bottom line, a massive 2024 review looked at data from 685 separate human trials with over 26,000 participants. And their conclusion? There was no significant difference in side effects between the groups taking creatine and those taking a placebo. It's cheap, it's incredibly effective, and one of the safest supplements on the planet. Now you know the truth. Creatine is backed by an immense body of science and has an incredible safety profile. The myths that have been holding people back are just that, myths. But now that we've cleared the air, the real fun begins. In the next video, we're going to dive into the most shocking benefit of creatine, and it has nothing to do with the gym. We're going to talk about how this simple powder can fuel your brain, making you mentally sharper and more resilient to stress. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss part two. Now, I want to hear from you. What is the craziest or most persistent myth you've ever heard about creatine? Drop it in the comments below. This was just the beginning. Level up your knowledge with these next videos that will blow your mind. Now keep pushing, stay strong, take your creatine, and I'll see you in my next video.